it's time to travel to the Atlantis Ridge and leave behind the water park. I heard we got some new currencies and some new strength training, so let's just hop into it. It seems that there's a very deep water warning because Atlantis is here. So let's just do this and let's dive into it and let's give it a watch. Aye, so we got to sell some new punching bags, new grips, some new bars and barbells. We seem to have Neptune to defeat, a new Atlantis fortune wheel, two new eggs, a Atlantis merchant, which is a jellyfish, five new different bosses, which is the Chomper Senior at 2.8 trillion. We got Mr. Shrimp to defeat for some new keys, which I didn't have luck with last time, and as well a new chest. Then we have the scavenger that we can go ahead and transfer coconuts to seashells. And there's a king crab, but I don't know what this does. All right, so the only thing, guys, I did not check anything out beforehand. I did do a little bit of training already because I saw that there's a new currency and a new thing. So I only got myself some strength and that's it. Like, I have not checked out anything, I've not seen anything, I've not checked out the eggs or anything like that, so I didn't spoil myself. So if we look at the update log, we get ourselves a new chest, new pets, new Atlantis, new endless bundle, balance changes, green slime, buckets, and new items. So first off, I can show you guys the difference between all the training methods. So we have biceps for me doing right now 11 million, hands are doing 11.7, and so these are all equal. And then bunching is around 8.6, so probably it's still better to do hands or... Uh, biceps, let me check the barbell as well. Barbell goes from 11.7 to 17. Ooh, okay, so in the last world it wasn't worth it, but this time it seems maybe worth actually using, which is really good. One set thing, the summer title and as well the arms do not work in this area, so you can just use anything else, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because it literally does not affect how much damage or power you gain. So let's just start off with converting my coconuts to seashells. I don't have too many coconuts because I didn't really replenish. I just focused on uh, trading and now the trading is used. I should have gotten more coconuts. So we're just going to go ahead and do this right here. We have 3.5 million. So we get 34,000 seashells. That's not that much, sadly. So that means we can buy ourselves around like 11 Atlantis pets. But you can see we get the Giga Atlantis King as well in here. So let's just go ahead and open up 8 eggs right here. And let's just see the difference between these bad boys. Let's just do 3 more as well. So there we go. We're now out of seashells. So if you type in Atlantean. So Atlantean Dweller 1. Ooh, so it gives more strength in here. Interesting. So I think this even gives a lot more because we already do get an increase with the pets we already had. But I wonder if these are even more currently. Ah, look at this. So these actually are times 13 now as well. Okay, so they did add the new currency on top of this. So add land. So these are just worse. Okay, but they do have a 1.5 million multiplier. So these should be... Oh, wait, this is just 240. So, okay, so it's not gonna be better okay so you probably need yourself any of these above to be better maybe the athlete is gonna be better but for now it's not better than the other ones it's good to know that at least our pets are not useless right now all right so we as well have an atlantis merchant so we have an atlantic crown with 153 boost there is a item right now that gives like 210 percent but they said this is a error and it will be fixed and all the other ones will be removed later on so just don't buy it it is called the summer chiller and it's not supposed to have a 205% increase and will be removed in new servers and is fully removed next week. So yeah, that will be kind of uh, kind of sad. All right, so it says, Shh, don't wake up the king crab. So I wonder what's going on with here. Maybe it's an Easter egg. Maybe it's just like a meme. I don't think this actually looks like something. It actually does something. So I maybe got to be like, ah, I'm just going to go scream in the game. Like, does that work? Like I'm typing caps lock, shouts scream wake up like <laughs> i don't think it actually does anything i think it's just a i think it's literally just a joke of course if you know more let me know in the comment section down below if you know anything about this crap all right so the main thing we should probably focus on is gonna be neptune because this guy is gonna be pretty strong let's see we do need 575 but they said that we want to make this update really hard and I see that it actually is going to be. Because this is going to take a while. Because we have no titles. We have no arms to increase our strength as well. It's going to be kind of a pain, to be honest, until next week where it's probably going to be nerfed. Uh, and then we have the shrimp right here, which requires 3.5 trillion. So yeah, there's so much right now in this event. And we can't do anything with it. So this can technically be classified as the hardest update we have ever had in, I think, any event. Because literally... 
I can't do anything. I have to wait for billions and billions of power. My team is pretty decent. You saw that right there as well. I don't think it makes any difference me swapping those pets to the new ones because these are just better multiplier as a whole. So I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, so I did equip my new pets as well. And you see, I had 18.5 before and now I'm just getting 15.3. So these are way worse, guys. These are way worse. So strength still does matter. But because these things are so weak, they're only 1.5 million strength. These are just trash. Yeah, you can see right now, I equipped my original pet to 18.3. So yeah, this is very interesting. Like I said, we are just in this update. The new pets are kind of bad. We just have to get more power because we can't do anything with this currently. But I don't see a reason why you would grind this. Because the eggs are worse. The merchant only has a better item. So I guess you would buy the merchant item once. So that's an okay grind. And I think it's just Neptune that's pretty good. Or you would grind the shrimp for a new pet. So in here, the Neptune's wrath is 160. Oh, this is a new arm. Okay, so you do want to get this thing. This thing is give you 235%. So this should be probably the thing you focus on. Then we have the Giga Atlantean Intruder. 5.1 billion as well. Okay. But if we... Let, let's just compare this to the other ones. Because Okay, so this is 5.1 billion right now. 5.1 billion. And if we then check the... Pirate's Cove, uh, which of course has the boss, which is a lot easier, of course, to fight currently. is super easy to get yourself enough power for this thing. Um, this thing is 4.8, okay? So that bet actually is better to grind for. So there is a reason to grind at lens. I thought for a second maybe it wasn't worth it. That would have been a shame, but at least right now you can grind for the best pet in the game. So what you should do is you should grind a lot of hours to get yourself 575 billion total. Defeat Neptune and then go ahead and spin for the 5% Coral Arm because this is going to give you an increase in the power as well. And it's going to literally spiral you forward so much. And then just keep on going until you think like you literally cannot gain any more strength. And then you just move over to the Shrimp instead and then farm the key over here. Because this pet, let me just take a look, 207% at as well so that's gonna be really good this is was well, a 1.5% arm but I think it's easier to get the 5% from the other one and there's a bunch of berries as well yeah I think that's the best course of action so I can do much currently I just have to focus and lift this barbell and just get as much strength as possible currently until there maybe it's gonna be an arm in here as well that I can buy and then I should buy this up but furthermore it's just waiting as well you see this Atlantic Defender only gives 25 seashells so like it that's not worth fighting at the start the only last thing that there is now there's a new unlimited egg or whatever over here endless bundles okay so you go from getting some raspberries and stuff to season xp and then you get more stuff okay so i get this for free oh wait huh okay okay let's just do this a little bit so we have the endless bundle we buy this for 21 robux and we get something free 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 now we buy Lucky Blocks for 49 Robux. Okay. Free, free, free. Then we buy 10 Donuts and 10 Cookies for 100 Robux. Free, 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 free. Then we buy a Jungle Egg for 200 Robux. This is all, like, actually really expensive for what it is. Uh, we got a Capybara. Free, free. Free, free, okay, we get more pets, small wind pack, OP lucky blocks, okay, we'll just keep on spending a little bit more Robux, guys, right now, I just want to see what we can get, like, is this going to be good, is this going to be bad, we get OP pets right there, Capybara, we get another egg, we get an angry fish, oh, now we have to buy a bundle for 500, okay, and this bundle 500 Robux, Okay, free potions, really bad. A thousand Robux right now. Ooh, that's a lot of money, guys. I don't think I want to go for this because this just doesn't seem worth it. I think this looks like a like a slot machine, but it's trash. I'll just leave it at that. I just spent like 750 Robux on this or whatever it is. And I didn't really get anything. Uh, I could have just bought this pet and had a lot more money. I think the only good thing we can do is just put in code Atlantis. And that should give you three times that boost for eight hours. Which doesn't seem to apply on this as well. So just use it in the regular rule. Okay, uh, I think final verdict. This update is uh, looked really good. But I think it is actually kind of trash. And uh, hear me out. I think it's because there is nothing to do with these eggs. These eggs are useless. 
uh, because you don't have your old arm, your old arms and stuff are useless as well. Uh, you just have to get yourself a bunch of strength to finally battle Neptune and then get, you can get the new arm, which does work. So, it is just a little bit strange what's going on right now. Because there's nothing else really to do. You need so much power for this shrimp right here. Because she needs 3.5 trillion. Which is literally like 100 times more than I have currently. So, yeah. It's a little bit weird. Uh, I think it's literally easier to grind seashells currently as well in the other world than it is right here. Uh, with how much you get from here. Maybe, of course, it's better higher up, but the lower levels, it's giga trash. So, yeah, I just have one last option to do, and that's, of course, just give away some stuff to make it a little bit better. So, uh, these pets, of course, are a little bit older. So, I'm just going to give away some endless bundles, because why not? So, I'm going to give away three times 5,000 Robux to spend on whatever you want. You can spend on the bundle, you can spend on Game Pass, it doesn't really matter. But if you guys want to get yourselves a nice 5,000 Robux package, what you have to do, you have to like this video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, hashtag endless to get a bunch of Robux username, and that's everything you're going to have to do to enter into the giveaway. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this update. I think it's good if you like grinding, but like people that have grinded the other worlds have literally nothing to show for besides some pets, I guess. So yeah, that's a little bit weird, but yeah. I think to be honest, I'm going to wrap it up right here for this a little bit of a questionable update. If you guys didn't join regardless, hit the like button down below. Guys. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. See you guys. Take care, live by. Thanks so much for watching, and of course as well, take care.